Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to stream and record video with the new uh, real life feature from the new driver from AMD. So first of all, make sure that you update uh, your driver to the latest version and we will start this. So first of all, global, you have some setting that you can set. Make sure that real life is at on. Record desktop enabled because I will show you what we can do with it. Choose your save folder, whatever you want. Um, your uh, video capture, make sure that your camera is over there. And your audio, make sure that you're using the, the proper microphone. Those options over there it's our hotkey that you can uh, set. If you want, for example, to quick record, quick uh, streaming and stuff like that, you can set hotkey for all the feature that you have. First of all, let's start with recording. One cool op uh, uh, option from the recording is you're recording the video with your GPU. So your GPU is encoding the video. So you're not using your CPU. And uh, that's a really good thing because just for an example, when I record a video uh, in X264 with a nice processor, by the way, i7-4790K, uh, and I record a video from a game like Planet Coaster, I'm using 30% of my um, CPU just to encode the video. Uh, you need crazy lot of resource to do that and even streaming you need a lot of resource one thing that's really nice with uh, all the new video card from AMD, card like rx 480 rx 470 you can encode in hevc this is the new uh, type of encoding h265 and um you get a really uh you get a better quality for less bit rate so the compression the compress sorry the compression is better it's not uh the same level than the if you encode with the cpu but still you're losing what three to four percent to record a nice video in hevc so that's a that's really good just four percent on your video card so uh yeah you definitely should re test your recording with your video card because you will have some nice results so pretty easy to set up you just choose your number of fps your bit rate depending on the quality that you want to make the video so you see here uh for 20 minutes of video if i put my bit rate at 50 uh it, it will make a big file so just choose whatever you need depending if you want to be do a big video crazy with uh, a nice quality for youtube or just a, a small video for yourself um yeah that's about it your encoding uh type the the thing that's really sad it's you can't use right now hevc or streaming on Twitch and YouTube because it's not compatible. We will see in the future, but right now it's just AVC. But if you record a video, make sure you're choosing HEVC. So instant replay, that's a cool feature that you have on the uh, new real life video uh, driver, sorry. It's for an example, you're playing a game and you just did a crazy play, but you were not recording uh, a video and you're just like, shit, I should record that because it was really nice. You can just click instant replay and it will take the whatever you set right now. I set 20 minutes, the maximum. It will uh, my past 20 minutes of gameplay will be saved in my uh, save folder. You can you can choose if you want just one minute, 45 seconds, depending on whatever you want. Me, I always use 20 minutes because I do a lot of stuff. I'm streaming, etc. It's nice to have like a, a quick video if you want to save it. So that's a really nice feature. Streaming, streaming, you can stream with on Twitch and YouTube. And you just have to connect your Twitch account. So you put your username, your password, and it will work magically. Now my Twitch is not connected. You will see. LMTL41 if you want to follow me. Oh, just, I don't know if I remember my password correctly. Sorry, guys. This is the password. Yes, it is. So now I will be connect to my Twitch account. Uh, you don't need any keys that you need to enter. So remain on the New York server. Uh, after that, you can choose the resolution that you want to use, uh, the number of FPS that you want to use when you're streaming, the bitrate, the streaming bitrate. It's pretty simple. You don't have a lot of options like OBS or XSplit, but still uh, you can stream quickly with the, this option. And probably AMD will add more option in the future. Also, if you want to custom your um, whatever your video or your streaming, you can set um, 
uh, camera you can say uh, the location of it you can also use an overlay if you want you just say use this image and put it as an overlay and it will work uh, it's pretty simple and it's very efficient honestly to stream with your video card if you always bottleneck because you have a bad CPU or an old CPU, you should definitely stream and record with your video card. And even if, even if you have a good GPU, uh, you can record easily with your video card. Uh, sorry, if, even if you have a good CPU, you can easily record with your video card. Uh, I'm not streaming right now with my video card because I don't like the quality of it. I need to put a lot of bitrate to have a decent quality for streaming. But for recording, it's really, really good. So, uh, if you don't use the Alt key, it's pretty simple. You just press Alt Z and you will have your option. So if you want to do the instant replay that I just said, boom, you can click on it. If you want to record, you click on it. If you want to stream, you just click on it and you can do a screenshot. You also have some quick setting that you can change for those feature. And um, if, for example, if you want to just disable your uh, camera very quickly and stuff like that. But anyway, like I said, you can bind odd keys if you want. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Um, just tell me like which GPU that you have and maybe your CPU too, if you want to ask me, oh, is it good to stream with this CPU, blah, 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 blah. And I will answer you quickly. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.